What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Sword. Uh, for those that, for some reason, skipped my other videos and just joined us now, here's the team with Grookey, Nicket, Yamper, Squabbit, Choodle, and Rookity. So, uh, since the last video I had left and I went back and caught some other Pokemon, um, I actually ran into a Nuzleaf, which almost wiped out my team, but we're about to go check in for our hotel room or our in room and it looks like team yell is up here with some other uh what's the deal with this team yell i can't check in yeah team yells here with some other gym challengers we came all the way out of this big city so that we could properly cheer on gym challengers team yell is here to help after all you're in for a battle if you want to stop us yeah i'm up for that um but this is kind of weird they're here to cheer for us but they said that wait how old are you Guys, look, oh, didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge. That is, oh, that's one. <laughs> we want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. Hey, I like that battle music transition. I know a lot of people were like, oh, this is going to be like an annoying team. Because, uh, Sun and Moon's team that we had to fight was kind of lame okay level nine so we're definitely gonna kick butt especially because i put the miracle seed on grookey and grookey's also level 15 so one more level and he should evolve if they kept it how it normally is with pokemon that was very easy oi give me a break here Team Yell, get revenge for me, would you? Oh, I'm gonna have three more battles? Is that how things are going? Because I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? I don't know, maybe finally getting to my hotel room? That would be pretty nice. Ah, uh, she has a Nicket. So it looks like they're gonna specialize in dark type Pokemon. But since they got that purple pinkish color, then I'm pretty sure they're going to also specialize in poison. I feel like it's like a another Team Rocket type of setup. Or not even like Team Rocket, it could be like Team Galactic as well. I must have got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Oh uh, yeah, next time don't do it again, bro. Aw oh, man, the swanky sophisticated in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. <laughs> swanky. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Blades. So what's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Oh, we're about to double battle? Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in. So I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two-on-two. -two. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. Okay, double battle up in here. Zigzag and Nicked. Okay. Oh, uh, you sent out Wooloo. He really likes using his Wooloo. Mm. I could do Razor Leaf just to hit both. Even though I could just like one hit KO one of them with uh, the stick poke. Oh, took out one and there's just one left. Rookity's almost leveled up to 18. I'm wondering what level Rookity evolves. And I haven't even looked at the Pokédex. I normally go to Cerebi and check out the Pokédex so I know which Pokémon I want to get, but I really want this to be like its own unique experience of playing through it, so you guys get to see my reaction up close and personal. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the Gym Challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful.
Guess it was the feet that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? Oh, we saw her earlier. N nothing. We was, we was just... I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my... They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that that they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell, was it pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own? Uh, she's like, yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go to this desk now. Good evening and welcome to the Badoo drop-in. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yes, sir. Yes, young Master Blaze, I see that the League has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. I'm gonna try. The next morning. Morning. Oh, what's good, man? So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Blades. I'll beat you to Motostoke Stadium. Again, with always racing. Oh yeah, guys, I cut my hair too on my character. I don't know if you guys saw it. If somebody wants to have a Pokemon battle in the area. Other people are doing like raids and all that. I'd wish you luck, but I'm afraid I'm gonna win. I would do that trainer battle, but I feel like that person has over level Pokemon. Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Yeah, that's fine. Because I already kind of explored the town. <laughs> we made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. Sir, yes, sir. I don't know. We'll talk to you after. <laughs> Challenger Blades, wasn't it? We must ask the gym challenge wear their uniforms for all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right. I'll need you to get changed as well. Now oh, he just gave me my uniform. I wonder if we get to like choose like our color or something. Nope. <laughs> Maybe later on we get to buy different costumes. Hey, number six. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin, and that six there, that really is the number for you. Now we're ready for the last... Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. Sorry guys, I kind of got fumbled with my words there with reading that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally the Gala Region Gym Challenge will commence. I couldn't even read the questions. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now, I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. Okay, we can finally get... Maybe it'll ex exploit, like, their gym typing, too. Other than, like, the four or five that we already know. I think we know, like, Grass, Fighting, Ghost. Um, and I think one or two more that we kind of could infer from the trailer. Yeah. So we remember this cutscene. So I'm seeing Fire... Water grass. Yeah, the fighting farmer. Here's the grass expert, Milo. The raging wave. It's the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire. Here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu. Oh, he's old. <laughs> the Galar karate prodigy. Nobody's better with fighting types than Bea. 
the master of a fantastic theater is the charming fairy type user Opal the hard rock crusher please welcome the rock type master Gordy and the last but not least the tamer of dragons it's Rihon the top gym leader no lie I was kind of expecting the dragon gym leader to like look the coolest <laughs> But I wasn't expecting um, the one on the far right to be a rock type user. I was expecting electric just because like the hair. But oh well. Hey, there I go. I don't know. I kind of don't like my hairstyle now that I got it. I got the Caesar haircut. I could also get um, some braids or dreads in a sense. But I don't know. I kind of kept the hairstyle with how my hairstyle is right now. Not much I feel like I could really do with my hair. Unless they let you add waves or something to your character, that'd be pretty nice. Standing there on the pitch, in the stadium, in front of everyone, there's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. Hey, hey Leon, my guy. You've made it at last, Hop, and you too, Blades. It's Rose. So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know? I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good. Very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there's some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you. Appreciate it, man. I'm just ready to get out there and catch more Pokemon, evolve, and all that stuff. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now, listen closely, you two. You've both only just started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Yeah, I gotta get physically fit. Let's do it, Blades. You know the gym challenge has a set order that you gotta visit the gyms in, right? The first is in Turf Field, and to get there, we need to head to Route 3. The gym challenge is an event in which aspiring travel trainers travel around the Gala region to try to collect gym badges. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Let's do our thing. I like how in the upper left it tells you what you need to be doing when you go between like different maps. It's like, this is your next mission, please go do it. Challenger Blades, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. What did, what did you deliver? A gift such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. <laughs> Excuse me, the gift is access to the flying taxi. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. Wow, this is extremely early to be getting fly. If you use the flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corva Knights will have you zipping across the Gala region to your desired destination. If it's alright with you, I'll read a segment from the flying taxi user manual. Ahem. <laughs> Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield, isn't that right? When traveling to a new place, it's best to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? Yep. Oh, are they... No, okay. I thought they were blocking off that region or something. But it's kind of cool that they got people cheering for us. Not just us, but like, just people in general are being cheered on for. What's over here? Oh, it's another, it's another way down? Oh, there's something down there. And look, I don't know if that's a trainer or not, who's just there to set us up. Okay, we got payday. Cool. Come back to me when you become champ. Okay, so we're most likely either going to get items from that person later on in the game, or we're going to have to battle them later on, because who knows how strong they'll be. I don't know, I'm kind of looking forward to that. But I wasn't expecting to find a TM down there. Looks like there's a Pokemon Center here too. I don't think I need to heal my team up. 
but it's always good to go inside Pokemon Centers and see what anybody has to say. Some people might even give you like an interesting trade to do as well. Is my team good? Yeah, I think my team, my team's good. I already bought potions and Pokeballs, so I'm already ready to go. Are right, we gonna have another battle? There you are, we've been waiting ages. Let's have a battle, you and me, we'll get in a bit of training. <laughs> All right, I need to be up for it. We've got to stay keener than anyone else if we want to steal the spotlight from our rivals. He's gonna start off with that Wulu though. So I think it's best if I get a fighting type on the team. I still don't think I want to get Surfresh. I kind of want to see what other fighting type Pokemon we'll have in the region. Keep up, mate. There's our chance to see if we're up to the gym challenge. Let's do our thing, Grookey. That's actually what I haven't caught yet. I haven't caught a Wooloo yet. Okay. 13. I wonder if I can get two evolutions. I don't know if Rickety evolves at this level. Um, let's send out Yamper. I haven't used Yamper yet. Seems like a perfect time to use an electric type. Good man. But even my Yamper's not that strong. Should have known you've mastered Titan. Does he say that every time you use like a super effective move or put the right matchups out there? I feel like that's gonna kinda get old really fast. At least he got his Pokemon paralyzed or something. Allows us to outspeed him. Oh wow, he used a potion. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting him to bust out a potion like that. Maybe his rookity will still be paralyzed. Oh wow, no, you're still just gonna let him get off that move? Okay, okay. I still want to add routes to my team, no lie. <laughs> Sobble, we're gonna switch out and go back to Grookey. Back to a corner, you got it all wrong, mate. This will just make my victory all the better. Well, you need to get more Pokemon on your team, bro. Oh, you know buying. Yeah, see, he thought it was a good idea. Getting the level up. Was that really good training? Looks like I'd better keep my guard up. Hey, and we get the evolution. Grookey is evolving. What in the world? Grookey evolved into Thwacky. <laughs> Is he a dual type or is he just grass? He's just grass. The faster the wacky can beat out of rhythm with his two sticks, the more respect it wins from its peers. Okay, and what move are we gonna learn? Double hit. Might as well get rid of scratch, I think double hit's normal. Yeah. 
Use your slant to target with the long tail, vines, or a tentacle. The target is hit twice in a row. This is like the normal version of like double kick. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna get rid of scratch. Sounds good. Yeah, Rickety evolves at level 18, guys. So we got two evolutions and one video. <laughs> Okay, that, that looks pretty nice. Rookity evolved into Corvus Squire. Oh, okay. I don't know why I didn't expect Rookity to be a part of the Corviknight line, but I, I think I'm going to keep it now because I did want a Corviknight. So, oh, it's like Rook, Squire, and then Knight. Okay, I get it. Smart enough to use tools in battle, these Pokemon have been seen picking up rocks and flinging them or using ropes to wrap up enemies. Just what I'd expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my lead cards. That's how good I think you did in battle. Our gym challenge starts right now, from here in Moto Stoke. Although the first gym leader will have to challenge us in a town way far off from here, still you better believe I'm going to keep on winning my way to that championship match. Hello, Galler. Meet your next champion. From the sleepy town of Postwick, it's me, Hop. Okay, because I think normally like what they would do in like the previous game, I think they always had like your rival kind of like heal up your team after a battle. He'd be like, yo, my fault for like the battle, but I really enjoyed it. Yo, now I'm kind of excited for what Nicket will evolve into. I can't imagine Nicket not evolving, you know? It just wouldn't make sense to me. I like the I like the music. I wish you could do something with like those vents though. Let's talk to this guy. If your pressure monk won't get injured, don't forget to heal them up with a potion. And you'd need antidotes to fix a poison. Oh, he's just giving me basic tips. Oh, is that a stunky? I see Pokemon. I see a new Pokemon there that I've never seen. Uh We're just gonna swap him out because I don't know how strong my <laughs> my Thwacky is gonna be. So you guys are gonna notice that I'm really gonna try to catch as many Pokemon as I can in this game. Acid spray. Don't poison me. Oh, he might take out Nicket though in this next attack. I'm not sure. I really don't have anything for poison type Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'll... I guess I'll get one more quick attack in before I send out a different Pokemon. No, I should just send out... Uh, I'll send out Corvusquire. Just because it's at a higher level too. Oh, that design looks so nice. Uh, power trip. Oh yeah, totally forgot. Dark type. That smoke screen is really gonna hurt. Oh man, we made it faint. <laughs> that was not the plan. Oh, never mind, I didn't buy potions. I thought I bought more potions before 
start in the re recording. Well, let's check out this new one. We've seen this one before, Gossiflower. Or Gossiflower. I don't want to use the dark type just in case it's a dark type move just in case it's super effective. Ah, oh, you know Sing? I actually was not expecting that. What else do you know? Okay, that lowers my evasion. Alright, we're gonna go for catching it now. I think next time I encounter the Stunky though, I'll definitely just have Core of the Squire out first. And just use Pluck, because hopefully Pluck doesn't take out a Stunky all the way. Stunkies in general are pretty bulky. Assurance. I'm low-key forgetting what all these moves do. If the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack's power is doubled. I don't know, he's pretty balanced in attack and special attack, so... Uh, I think I'll just get rid of Beat Up. It was a good move to have early on, but I don't think I'll be using it like that anymore. It anchors itself in the ground with a single leg, then basks in the sun. After absorbing enough sunlight, its petals spread as it blooms brilliantly. Yeah, we're sending you to the box. Oh yeah, there's another one. Oh, Pokemon Trainer. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know why I'm excited and want to battle. I feel like I should change up my, my hat. I don't think it goes with my hairstyle too much. Wow, you have a Vulpix. I think Vulpix is going to have... Oh, no, you're not going to have Ember. But just in case, we'll use Snarl. <laughs> we have Quick Attack as well. It's kind of cool that they made like another Fox-like Pokemon. Yeah, give me all your money. Okay, yeah, there's another Stunky. Like I said, guys, we're gonna have Corvusquire uh, up front. Just so I can use Pluck and then catch it. Okay, perfect. Hey, there we go. I need to make sure I don't level them up too high because I think right now my um, lead card it says that I can only have my Pokemon obey me up to level 20. Oh wow, got some heal balls. Another trainer. Um, let's get Dwacky out there just so we can see how his movements go. I want to use Choodle, but Choodle's leveling up really slow, so I think Choodle's kind of like... good? <laughs> I 
I think it's gonna have some pretty nice stats, maybe. Oh, Pam Pam. I feel like we should have had a grass fighting with the way Thwack is. Let's check out double hit first and see how it looks. Oh, just looks like a regular tackle. <laughs> Circle throw. Oh, uh, who'd you switch in? And I just said I didn't want to use Choodle. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, you just gotta throw everybody in and out. Oh, this is the one you want to bully, Pan Chan? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, wasn't smart on your side. You just gave me extra reason to paralyze you. Oh, you're just gonna bring another person in? Squub it. <laughs> I haven't battled with Squub it yet. Uh, okay, yeah, I thought that didn't do damage. <laughs> Squub it's probably gonna evolve at like level 20 or 20 something, I feel it. Ah, True to Learn Protect. He's definitely like a tanky Pokemon for the team then. That was actually pretty nice, but guys, before I get further into, into the route, I'm gonna end this video off here. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you leave a like for the video, it helps out the video a lot, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot, make sure you hit that notification bell as well, so you're notified by every upload for this series. But with that said, guys, take it easy. Later.